How is your stitching? My name is Tiziana and today we are in Milan, Italy. This is my channel about cross stitch and other needle book crafts I do. And today we are visiting cross stitch shops. This morning we already visited, we already visited one common Italian style. <laughs> Uh, we already visited one shop, so please check it out. I will link that video down below. And now we are visiting another shop, which is called V and V Ricamo. It's very close to Central um, train station Milano Centrale in uh, Milan, so it's really easy to visit if you are he here in in the city. Uh, so I will uh, put the address down below. I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, but once you get uh, here, you can see the shop from outside. So I will show you exactly how to get, so this is a building and uh, the shop is inside, it's not visible from, uh, from the street. I will uh, show you how you get in and we're gonna check this beautiful shop together. Let's go! So here we are, central train station is on that direction, so usually you would arrive uh, from this direction. And here are gates, if they are closed you need to ring his uh, ring for Vin Ricamo, you ring it and they open uh, this gate for you. But now it's open so we can enter. Same here, if this door is closed, you also ring bell here in front of the Vin Ricamo, his uh, shop logo. Yeah, and then we enter. He is a hall, so basically it's a condominium, people live here. So we need, so we cross this, um, this hole and we enter this nice bridge full of uh, plants and shop would be down here. So you need to cross the bridge, oh, so beautiful, nice plants. And we go downstairs, one floor downstairs. to arrive basically at back backyard of this big building. And we have Vindri Viricamo right here. Or Afertissimi, the two names. Yeah. Oh guys, imagine this shop is my age. Oh. Unfortunately, Giovanni is the owner of shop. He doesn't speak um, English, so I will try to um, to tell you the story he told me, but I won't be able to transmit all the passion and all the excitement when he told the story um, because it's a family business. It's all started with his mother and her, and his aunt, so two sisters. They started um, this uh, project at the end of eighties, and at that time it wasn't a shop. It was, um, uh, they were selling uh, cross stitch and other goods over, over a journal. So it was the, the era before the internet. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, there were different ways that we know now how to, uh, how to do business. Yeah, but then uh, after a few years, at, uh, at the beginning of 90s, uh, they were already. Um, quite well established so they uh, opened um, a shop uh, they were in the same building but it was a bigger um, bigger place where they had all the stitched models and many many other goodies and um, then late on 90s they even started their own journal as well and also it was mostly selling over E over mail, not email, <laughs> over mail, uh, as it used to be done before. Uh, yeah, that's, that's so beautiful. They have so many models stitched and he showed me uh, behind the scene when, uh, because they used to be in a bigger, uh, bigger place, um, they had many models and more wall space. Now they don't have as much wall space, so many beautiful samples are just tucked away on shelves, uh, which is a little shame, but uh, you know, when over these years, uh, more than 30 years, they accumulated many, many models. And he says that now, uh, yeah, this red journal, that was the first journal uh, where they started selling, and this blue journal, magazine, 
magazine. Um, it's uh, what they started uh, in 90s um, and you see all their e issues over the years are here. That's so sweet, that's so beautiful. Oh. And they have many books, <laughs> which I appreciate. Uh, I also find one, um, yeah, this is the Red Journal they started with. Uh, such a history. Um, and they even have a Ukrainian um, traditional st stitching book, which I was very excited to look through. And that book is in English. Yeah, so guys, that's that's a beautiful shop. It, it's it's must visit uh, when you in Italy, when you in Milan. Oh. Here are more of the famous towers and they have many uh, stitched. You see this on the wall. <laughs> Be happy, happy day. And they have many, many different um, options for DMC. Not only our standard six strand fours, but they have many others like Perle and also Perle and Bigger. Hanks, um, which is quite nice. More towers. <laughs> yeah, this, you know, I'm, I've never stitched any of those, but I am at the point that maybe I do need one. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh. And uh, you see on shelves, the, the, there on the top, uh, it's... Um, it's all those uh, samples they you see behind the towers on top of the shelves. It's all those models that were stitched for a magazine. Uh, they were pictured, uh, shown in magazines, and they just tucked away. You see under that yellow fabric all over around here. Oh my God. That's all are boxes with stitched items. Can you imagine that? And he also said that he is not exactly sure what to do with them um, because he he doesn't have a place to um, to show them. Uh, selling them, he tried it. It wasn't very successful. So um, yeah, so they just in boxes. But hopefully one day uh, the world can see them. Ah, questo dovrebbe essere un mirabilia o eh, un mirabilia mm -hmm. o un lavandino mm -hmm. da in lace. Bello. And I like how in Italy they have so many uh, stitched items uh, for babies, for newborns. Uh, there's so many already pre-made um, 
uh, items that you would use for for little babies and you can stitch them and uh, yeah that's sweet i like this tradition camicino della fortuna oh that's so cute Carinissimo. Have you seen the cutest DMC in the world? Look at, <laughs> Look at the tiny beautiful things.
guys that was a wonderful visit oh my god i got so inspired i'm not sure if i was able to catch every, everything on camera because they have a lot and i was just too excited to really film well but hopefully hopefully i've got a little bit of hope and i'm gonna show you in my next post tube which will be number four yeah so thank you for visiting with me this beautiful italian needle workshops and I will see you in the next one. Bye, happy stitching!